Hello everybody. So in my previous video I make this kind of supercapacitor. So actually I make two of these supercapacitors with different quality of the carbons. The link to this video will be in the description. And the electrolyte which I use in these supercapacitors was sodium sulfate with some potassium hexacyanoferrite additive. But in this video I will try some a little bit different electrolyte. So the basic of the supercapacitor will be the same. I will only change the activated carbon powder with some activated carbon fat because this way I make the supercapacitor a little bit more faster. Uh, but the main change in this supercapacitor will be the electrolyte because I decided that I will go with some Wiss electrolyte type. Uh, this Wiss meant for water to salt electrolyte. So in many cases when you make some uh, electrolyte, for example one mole or two moles of I don't know zinc sulfate for example, then you add salt to water. But in this case I will add water to salt. So this type of electrolyte have really high concentration of the salt. Now I will make some really basic water to salt electrolyte. And actually here I have 10 milliliters of water and into this 10 milliliters of water I will add 27 grams of potassium acetate. This will be good. So 27 grams of potassium acetate into 10 milliliters of water or 10 grams of water. And like I said, this will be my basic water to salt electrolyte. Because in the end you can also add many different additives or you can also use some different different water to salt electrolytes but in my case right now uh, I use this potassium acetate and now you see that I have some pieces of potassium acetate which are not dissolved for this reason I need to heat up this solution to 80 degrees C, so around 80 degrees C, and this I will do right now. And the solution get clear when I heat up to around 80 degrees C. Very nice. And now I will make the cell. For the current collectors, for this supercapacitor, I will use these graphite plates. Uh, and the active material will be, in my case, this actuated common fat. Because this way I make this cell a little bit faster. But actually, you can go with some activated carbon powder. The weight of these two activated common ferrets is 0 0.38 grams. Zero point three six. Yeah, around zero point three seven grams but like I said you will be okay if you use some activated carbon powder and remember larger is the surface area more capacity you will get so this activated carbon fat uh, have around or 1800 to 1600 square meters per gram something like this so this carbon fat 
activated counterfeit is much worse like my like my activated carbon powder okay and now the separator the separator is some uh, toilet paper nothing spe special about this separator okay and now Okay, actually that's it. So this this electrolyte gets so oily like I mean you have the feeling of like an oil. And now I will charge the supercapacitor and the voltage which I will use at this moment will be 2.5 volts because I actually don't know what will be the cell voltage. And now I will disconnect the supercapacitor from my power supply and I will start to run this drone motor. Thirty minutes and forty nine seconds was the run time of this supercapacitor, which have this basic water to salt electrolyte. So I was hoping that mostly of the capacity will be on a little bit higher voltage stage, but okay, this was this experiment with this electrolyte, uh, and yeah, that's it for now, and we see us in the next video. Bye.